Brawlers are allowed to use their gadget, star powers, one super, and their attack to open these 16 boxes as fast as possible. Starting off is Gene. Gene sucks at this. He takes 1 minute and 39 seconds to get rid of all of them. He does get the help of his spirit slap star power, but neither of his gadgets are useful for this, and uh, I'm not gonna make you guys watch this. Next is B, who takes 1 minute and 20 seconds to get rid of all of these boxes and takes 54th place. B is also painful to watch, so I'm not gonna make you guys watch her either. Next we have Stu, who is able to use his super at the very beginning and light 12 of the boxes on fire, which is a very satisfying to watch. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually deal that much damage, and he takes 1 minute 15 seconds to get rid of the box and takes 53rd place. Next, we got Eve, but first. This video is sponsored by Incase, who I can, by far, they make my favorite backpacks, and I've actually tried a lot of different backpacks in my time. <laughs> like a suspiciously weird amount of backpacks. Click the link below and use code TRIBE for 20% off at checkout. Seriously though, guys, I take the Icon backpack with me everywhere that I travel. But if I ever need to bring like a lot of electronics with me, like I need to record on the go or something like that, then the DSLR Pro Pack is my go-to backpack. I mean, look at this storage. Like, you could put so much stuff in there, and these, these dividers, you can move them around, you can adjust it however you want, you can even take out the center, like, you can do anything that you want to fit whatever you want. And the most impressive thing is that no matter how stuffful it is, like, it's still crazy comfortable. So click that link below and find a bag from Incase that you're gonna love, and don't forget to use code TRIBE at checkout. And once again, a huge thank you to Incase for sponsoring this video, and also for being a longtime partner on the channel. Next, we got Eve, and her hatchlings don't actually target boxes, so her super and her gadget are useless and she takes 1 minute 12 seconds to get rid of it and takes 50 second place. Up next is Piper who starts off with a super in the middle and that is very satisfying to watch. But from that point on, it's kind of a tricky situation of like, you gotta hit each box twice so like maximum distance doesn't actually matter that much and picking up the power cubes is kind of like a weird thing for her. So she ends up destroying the boxes in 1 minute and 9 seconds and gets 51st place. Next we got Lou and the thing about this test is that he's actually able to like carry over some of his damage onto the next box if like two of the three projectiles actually breaks one of the boxes. After getting some power cubes, he uses his super that deals almost no damage and destroys the boxes in 58 seconds, which puts him in 50th place. Next, we got Crow, who deals a lot of damage right at the start with his super, but from that point on, it's kind of like, where do I attack and uh, how much damage do I deal to each one of the boxes? Which brings up a really good point. If you're able to get a significantly faster time with Crow or any of these brawlers in this video, please tag me on Twitter or Reddit or wherever I'll see it, and there's a chance I might actually feature it in a YouTube short. Crow gets 49th place and breaks the boxes in 57 seconds. Up next is Belle, who fires her main attack at boxes that have a lot of health so that they will then continue to bounce off of other boxes. Her nest egg doesn't trigger any of the boxes, but she does wait until she has a lot of power cubes to eventually use her super near the end. She ends up taking 48th place. Next, we got Leon, who is very boring to watch because he literally has nothing but his main attack to get rid of all these boxes. He still shreds through them pretty quickly because of how strong his attack is, but he ends up getting 47th place. Up next, we got Max, who literally just spins around in a circle thanks to a running gun star power that will slowly but assuredly increase her reload speed. She even gets a little slight faster boost when she uses her super to increase her running speed, but uh, it's not by much, but it's useful and she gets 46th place. Next, we have Jesse, whose turret does not target boxes, and rather than like having another brawler come into the center so we kind of like force it to try and attack boxes, I decided not to worry about that. As such, she relies on just her main attack and gets 45th place. Next, we have Gale, whose attack does not go through boxes, but it is wide enough to deal damage to two boxes at a time. He is able to use his super to deal just like a tiny amount of damage against the boxes, it's not very useful, but he ends up getting 44th place overall. Next is Colonel Russ, who starts off with a very satisfying super that lands straight on top of all of the boxes. Unfortunately, his air support gadget does not target boxes either, so we're not going to use it, and he ends up getting 43rd place. Next is Nani, who is very careful about which boxes she takes out at the very start, so that after she gets a few power cubes, she can then use her super to deal massive damage to the remaining boxes. From that point on, she cleans up the rest of the boxes and gets 42nd place. Next is Shelly, who uses her super at the start to deal lots of damage to all but two of the boxes. After that, she takes a while for her regular attack to kind of like clean up the other boxes and she gets 41st place. Now, Bull's super is wide enough to deal damage to three rows of boxes. He's able to stop using his gadget, then he just slowly uses his attack to clear out the rest of the boxes. At the end of it, he takes 40th place. Next is Lola, who's kind of sneaky. She uses her mirror image to take out two rows of boxes at the same time, and then uses her gadget to swap places and quickly pick up the power cubes. It still takes her a while and she gets 39th place. Next, we got Daryl, who unloads all of his shots and uses his super to deal a little extra damage to boxes, and that increases his reload speed for a short time, 
thanks to his rolling reload star power. This trial looks a little messy with Daryl, but I tried recording it multiple times and this was the best time I got, so he ends up getting 38th place. Next is Rico, who actually supers at an angle so he hits as many boxes as possible with it. After collecting some power cubes, Rico's able to break some boxes with just a couple of shots, and he ends up getting 37th place. Next is 8-Bit, who does have a slow reload speed, but he's able to actually rely on his super that increases his damage, plus his gadget, which allows him to triple his damage with three of his attacks. 8-Bit ends up getting 36th place. Up next is Colette, who takes a very long time destroying her first row of boxes. But once she has enough power cubes, she's able to take out three full rows of boxes with her super and gets 35th place. Next, we have Fang, and his super does not chain through the boxes, but his fresh kickstar power does instantly recharge it after destroying a box. I kind of made an exception for Fang and allowing him to actually use his super and over and over again. I still did have to be pretty careful, though, because if I accidentally used it on a box without destroying it, his super would be gone forever. Fang ends up getting 34th place. I also kind of made an exception for Surge because I let him start out completely maxed out at level 4, right? Because of his attacks bounces off targets, it just works so well and it looks it just looks way cooler doing it like this anyway. Surge ends up getting 33rd place. Next is Byron, who starts out by using his gadget to hit three boxes with his weaker attack. Thanks to his injection star power, he is able to hit two full rows of boxes with some of his attacks. And the ending is particularly satisfying where he uses his super and his star power to completely wipe out two rows of boxes. Byron ends up in 32nd place. Next is Griff, who starts out with a very satisfying gadget in the middle of all the boxes to get a little extra damage in. His super is also able to hit every box, and then he uses his attack to quickly finish off the rest of the boxes. He's the first brawler to beat the 22nd mark and gets 31st place. Now, Mr. P doesn't get any help from his super or his gadget since his porters will not go after boxes, but his handle with care star power deals a lot of extra splash damage with some of his attacks, and he's able to clear the boxes fairly quickly and gets 30th place. Next is Colt, who uses his gadget to pierce through the first two rows of boxes and quickly uses his super to break the boxes and pick up the power cubes. Then he uses his gadget and his attack to finish off the other two rows of boxes. He ends up getting 29th place. Next is Terra, who starts off with that super right in the middle to just get a little extra damage, and she's actually the first brawler in this test with an attack that pierces through targets without the help of some sort of an ability. She destroys the boxes in 15.3 seconds and gets 28th place. Now, Bo places his mines in the middle of the boxes and then uses his gadget to detonate them since the boxes obviously don't move. Then he uses his attack to destroy multiple boxes at once and ties for 26th place with the next brawler. And that is Tick, who stays as close as he can to the boxes while still taking cover through the whole area with his main attack. He doesn't get to use his super, but it's still pretty satisfying to watch, and he ties with Bo for 26th place. Up next, we have Meg, who unloads a few shots at the start, but then uses her super to deal a lot of damage to a lot of boxes. After that, it's pretty much a waiting game until she has her second super, which I did make an exception for her since it automatically charges so quickly, and that's a very satisfying finish for 25th place. Next, we have Spike, who starts off with his super to deal damage to a lot of boxes, plus he has his gadget and his attacks that deal damage in all sorts of directions, and he's able to completely destroy all the boxes in 10.8 seconds, which puts him in 24th place. And that means that the rest of the brawlers are about to get a lot more satisfying. Now, Sprout's able to hit all of the boxes with some of its attacks thanks to its overgrown star power. Even without it, though, its attacks still have a really good blast radius, and there's a lot of numbers that pop up on the screen, which is very nice to watch, and it ends up getting 23rd place. Now, Grom deals heavy damage to all the boxes right at the start thanks to his super and his gadget-activated attack that literally deals so much damage. He is the first brawler to take out all of the boxes in less than 10 seconds and ends up getting 22nd place. Next is El Primo, who actually gets a better time at not using his super at the start, and he can't use his gadget either way, so he just punches, and then he gadgets, and then he supers, and finishes it all off in 8.8 .8 seconds and gets 21st place. Next is Pam, who literally can't destroy all boxes faster than her turret, so she just chills and waits for it to destroy them all. It takes 8.7 seconds, and she gets 20th place. Now, Mortis can dash through several boxes with each attack, and he actually hangs on to his super until he picks up some power cubes to deal a huge damage to the remaining boxes. He destroys them in 8.6 seconds and gets 19th place. Now, Ash uses his gadget to instantly increase his rage so he can take out the first three rows of boxes and collect the power cubes. It takes him 8.4 seconds to take them out, and he gets 18th place. Now, Nita doesn't get the help of her bear, but her attack can hit three rows of boxes at the same time. She destroys them all in 8 seconds and ties with the next baller for 16th place. Buzz is kind of like Nita, except the attack is a little less neat. Plus, his attacks actually deal more damage than Nita's. He destroys them in 8 seconds and ties with Nita for 16th place. Next is Poco, whose attacks aren't very strong, but his super and his attack can hit all of the boxes at the same time, which means he can take them out in 7.7 .7 seconds and he gets 15th place. Next, we have Nita, and I tried using a lot of different combinations with her, but what ended up working the best is her gadget in the middle of the boxes and then moving outside to deal tons of damage with the splash from her regular attack. It's impressive, and she ends up getting 14th place. Not as impressive as Rosa, though, who just straight up uses her thorny gloves, star power, and her
her super to deal lots of damage with her attacks. That's some satisfying numbers to watch, and she gets 13th place. Next, we have Brock, who uses his gadget and his super to deal massive damage to all of the boxes. They're gone in 6.1 seconds, and he gets 12th place. Now, Edgar uses his hard landing star power and his super to just punch through all of these boxes like crazy. He's kind of an edgy teenager, I guess you could say, and he gets 11th place. Now, Sandy does use his rude sand star power with his super to help a little bit, but his attacks can hit all of them, which means that once he reloads his attacks, he's able to clear them all out and he gets 10th place. Now we're in the top 10. Now Squeaks is fun because his super and his attack almost explode at the exact same time, and only two of the boxes were outside of the range of the super. He ends up getting 9th place, but Amber beats him by an entire second with lots of fire damage and just like, I mean, this is so satisfying to watch. She gets 8th place. Next is Ems, who attacks from a distance and uses her super to clear out all of the boxes except for the bottom row. She just moves back a little bit and clears them as well and gets 4th place. Now Parley covers all the boxes with his super and main attacks. It takes a couple of seconds for them to deal the damage, but he clears them in four seconds and ties with our next brawler for fifth place. And that brawler is BB, who can reach all of the boxes with her main attack, so it only takes four quick swings to take them all out at the exact same time. She also takes fifth place. First is Dynamite, who takes out over half of the health of all of the boxes with a super and finishes them with three quick attacks, but also in third place is Jackie, who can reach all of the boxes with her attack, and she just has to wait for that fourth ammo to reload. This is so satisfying to watch. And equally satisfying is Frank, who also takes out all of the boxes, but his reload speed is just a little bit faster than Jackie, so he ends up getting second place with a score of 2.6 seconds. But the best brawler by half a second is Carl, who literally just has to use his super to take out all the boxes, and that is it. Carl is the best brawler for the Splash Olympics. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is the first time I've done the Splash Olympics, so let me know if there's an Olympics idea that you guys have in the comment section below, and maybe I'll do it in a future video. Also, I'm really trying to reach 1 million subscribers by the end of this year. At the rate I'm going, I'm, I probably won't make it, so please subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. You can do so right here. And subscribe for Clash Mini content and Free Fire content right there. Or check out, uh, and, and check out this wonderful, amazing Brawl Stars video. For now, this is Kairos. Time ticking by. We will see you in Brawl Stars.